We're back again. We can be time. And this week I have something very special. Look what I got. Look what I got. I'm gonna show you fellas how to turn one of these into a beautiful beat, man. So without further ado, guys, this is Weekend Beat Time. Well, guys, hey, before we get started, man, I really appreciate it if you guys share the video man if you're new to the channel every week we get together i make some beats i basically tell you everything i freaking know right until i'm uh, until eventually i'm gonna run dry but uh but for now it's all good so if you wouldn't mind man just hit that subscribe button guys hit that subscribe button and um man just uh, join in the fun man every week we get together man leave comments criticize hate love whatever you like man it's all good all the time guys man so uh let's just uh, jump into it so um this week i wanted to focus on something just a little bit special something a little bit different this is for all you cats out there who haven't got these man can't find records um maybe you haven't got the resources or whatever or maybe you're just not used to digging for records and that you know what i mean you haven't trained your ears so um you know you want to you you used to sampling off youtube or uh, cds or uh, dvds whatever it is man um, whatever the source is, this is a little trick for you guys, man. I want to show you an alternative so that you guys can get a really, really lo-fi sound, all right? One of the benefits, guys, is that um, if you're using YouTube, it's, um, man, you've got millions and millions of songs at your fingertips, but uh, sometimes they sound clean, sometimes uh, it's, you know what I mean, you just want to uh, grime them up a little bit, Something like that. So this is a technique that you guys can use, man. And one of these things that you can use is this. It's a, VH, a VHS player, right? A cassette player. Some of you cats, uh, younger cats, are probably going to look at this and wonder what the fuck it is, right? This is basically an old-ass machine that used to play these VHS tapes, man. All right? And they used to use this, which is film, right? The beautiful thing about film is that it's very similar to records in that it's analog. And by what I what I mean by that is that this would literally have the sound, a little line. If you look at these tapes, right, you'll see a little line cut out, just like you would on a on a on a vinyl. And that'd be the sound. The same way a needle runs through this, you would have an actual little head that will vibrate against this. Well, not vibrate. It would it would it would pick up on that on on how it was recorded. And it would actually, um, yeah, play the audio, man. So, what we're going to be doing is, is um, we're going to be grabbing some piano, some clean piano off, the, off YouTube. And we're going to be recording it onto the tape. And then we're going to flip it into a beat. But before you go and you skip ahead or anything like that, you say, yeah, that sounds pretty standard. I'm going to show you how to manipulate this so that you can get it sounded even more and more distorted man so it's basically you get to um add your own effect using your fingers man adding your own effect this is a really cool trick man pretty old school you know what i mean um but it's it's a lot of fun man uh one of these vhs players man I do, I, man you you'd be struggling if you were you were only finding these for 100 bucks i mean you should be able to pick these up for like five bucks at the flea market or the swap meets or whatever it is that you call it man have a look out for a VHS player. It doesn't matter if it doesn't have the remote. You don't need the remote. It usually has the dials at the front. I haven't got the remote for this. This is my grandfather's old one. And um, yeah, you just need a tape. You can pick these up anywhere, man. Look, go to secondhand stores, whatever it is. Just look for one of these, all right? I'll run through the equipment. I'll run through a couple of things for you guys to look out for when you're setting it all up, all right? So what we're going to do first, man, is look at the setup, all right? Let's do that. These things are pretty old school, so they use these sorts of cables, right? RCA cables. Yeah, they just... I won't get into it, man. I'm not even going to try to pretend like I know what all the uh, acronyms are for these and what they do and how signals travel through these things. I have no fucking clue. All I know is you plug and you play, all right? So, this is a basic diagram. Schematics are pretty hardcore here. You know what I mean? What we got is the iPad... Or, or your tablet, right? And the smartphone. Basically, your source, you know, go on YouTube. I'm going to use YouTube for this example, all right? That's basically going to have the headphone jack, right? 
see that the headphone jack and we're going to be running the headphone jack into the input of the VHS player all right the input let me this is what I'm going to look at right now all right I'm going to look at the input couple of things you need to think about now like most things guys you may want to rush and actually put the inputs in the back that's fine that's fine you can do that I've chosen to do it at the front all right but this is one thing that you need to keep in mind when you plug them in at the front it this means that it has two inputs right a video and an audio input right these things so something for the visual something for the audio now if you look here right right there it says video in audio in right so the whites the audio the yellows that right and look at this right it says AV2 right that means it's the second input so when you're looking at the front display here right I have A2 as the input you see it's gonna be either A1 or A2 then it's got like channel 1 channel, and all that sort of stuff right I need to make sure that it's A2 because that's my input if you forget to do that you're not gonna get a signal going into this when you're recording right and that's just something you want to avoid so take a good look the front is A2 the back of this machine is gonna be A1 so if I was recording into this I'd be plugging it in and then making sure that that's sitting on A1 all right okay cool so we've covered that now we're basically you guys are gonna have to sort of work out the cables this is um, just your standard auxiliary I've patched it through my patch bay all right I mean that's why I have the patch bay this thing here with all the but with all the plugs it's basically uh, for me to be able to just convert things and just um, route cables uh, easily all right if you haven't got that don't stress just go from this all right and you basically need to just get that into an RCA all right you can use um, whatever means necessary, man. You've got like these cheap things. You can pick these up at like them uh, two dollar Chinese stores or whatever it is. Um, you you can grab any of that stuff. Just go into the AV. Make sure that it's AV one or whatever it is. All right, guys. All right, let's keep going. Now continuing on with the schematics. No, I'm just joking. Look, after that, it's it's it's, it's pretty simple, right? Just like you were sampling in anything. This is going to have an, an RCA output, again an output using um, that, right? It's going to look like these uh, round things there, one of those. And you just feed it into the inputs of either your computer, right? Or your sound card, whatever it is, or your MPC, either one, all right? So it's basically we're going in there, and then we're going out here, right? This is what's going to happen. We're going to record everything in, and then we're going to play it back. All right, we're gonna listen to it on our MPC or computer, right? I haven't got a computer, but I'm gonna be using my MPC. What we're gonna do is do a little trick when it's in here, and then that's when we're gonna manipulate it and make it sound all crazy and shit. All right, man? All right. First things first, I'm just gonna look for a sample. Once I have the sample, I'm gonna sample it into the VHS. I'll run through that process just to make sure we got everything synced up, all right? Let's do that. So I just popped in the tape. Now the first thing we want to do is we want to make sure, so, so just hit the stop button on that. I just want to rewind it, all right? You want to deal with the start of the tape. Now the more you do this, if you're using the same tape, you're going to start wearing out the tape. It's going to sound worse, all right? So you may want to move on. Some of these things have timers on them. If you have the control, you might be able to set the timer. That way you know where the start is. It's kind of like the odometer on your um, on your cars. You know what I mean? Where you could reset the kilometers and work out the trip and how many kilometers you've been doing. It's a similar sort of thing. For you cats that are too young to drive, it's just basically just the timer. You could you may find a way of resetting that so you know where it is on the film. All right. Now that thing's all rewound. All right. Now I've got it rewinded. Now it's on A1. <clears throat> it shouldn't be like that A2 right my audio 2 Doesn't matter about the video right so I've got that prepped up Right I've got it prepped up Now here's the thing when I go to record What I want to do is I want to record about 10 15 seconds, right? That's just to allow the tape to follow through to get through the head and actually have the tape going 
not with like the clear plastic to hold the, that holds the tape onto the reel. You wanna get rid of all of that, go through about 15 seconds of film. That way you, you've got your fresh film, it's recording properly, then play your sample, all right? Let's do that. So the madness continues, all right? What I'm gonna do is, I've got the record button here. I'm just gonna hit record. It's starting to record. The timer is going. I'm gonna wait for about 15 seconds. Now I've got the sample playing. Look, I'm, I haven't gone through the whole of YouTube and found something very specific. I've just typed in jazz piano, right? Because it's some good chords. It's gonna be easy for the demonstration. And I'm basically just going through it. I'm basically just going through it. It's like a three hour mix or something like that. You're, there's plenty of them out there, man. It's just a guy jamming on the piano. Um, it unfortunately hasn't got the name of this fella, man. I'd love to give him props, but uh, I haven't got the name of this fella here. It just says that it's just work and study and relaxation music, all right? Either way, it's going to work for oh. us. The thing's playing. I'm going to restart the audio. Let's do it. Right? Recording. Just gonna let it play for a bit, man. Now, if you've got a specific sample in mind, all right, that's not a problem. You may only need to record 10 seconds, all right? This is me, I'm just gonna record a bit more of the piano. That way I could just play the VHS player. This MPC, I'm fortunate enough that it's not limited in its um in its sample time. I've got like 11 minutes, which is plenty of time. So I'm just gonna take my time selecting that. I won't bore you with the uh, with the weight, but the point is this thing's been recording, right? Clean piano. You see, it's clean. It's clean. Just wait till this sort of progression stops. Ah, uh, too busy. Ah, uh, whatever. There you go. I just hit the stop button there. All right. That's it. Thank you very much, YouTube. All right. Now YouTube's a little bit too clean, so now it's gone in the VHS player. All right. Let's check it out. With these VHS players, when you're rewinding, right? If you're like in the middle of the of the tape, it's going to um rewind really fast. If not, it's going to rewind slow. Now with these older ones, right? You're better off, instead of it playing and then hitting rewind, stop it, all right? Stop the tape, then hit rewind, okay? It's going to do it as fast as it can. If it, if you just hit rewind, if you had a TV and it was all plugged in, you'll see that it would have everybody sort of, the, the thing would be working like that, and then it would stop, and then when you hit the rewind button, it would just do this, go slowly, all right? You want to actually stop. Stop the video completely, hit rewind so it knows, listen, he's not trying to find something particular in the in the in the video. He just wants to start the video right from the start. Alright. So I've hit rewind. Out the back there, I've got the audio out. Now the audio out is running in to my patch bay, but for you fellas, it would just be like um just running it into your uh, computer or your MPC, alright? Just the same way you would be sampling. Okay, let's have a listen to it. It, it should sound pretty vintage, right, um, without us manipulating it. But let's have a look at us playing it normally, and then I'm gonna we're gonna start fucking around with this thing. All right, all right, cool. See that? Listen to that. us now that's when we stopped remember we left it for 15 seconds we've left it in silence i was queuing up the the um the youtube and now we're going to play it this is at at this point this is when we're going to start sampling all right now this is us playing it back normally yeah right here right here right here Sound good. Sound good. 
And that's all natural. back and this time we're gonna fuck with it and I'm gonna show you how okay now here we are this is how we're gonna mess with it what you need to do is take the cover off your um your VHS plate now I've already rewound it's already uh, I've already rewound it right we're gonna take the cover off now guys please be careful all right don't take the cover off and just start slamming your hand into the whole thing. You could electrocute yourself, all right? Just be really careful, man. Just take the cover off. Now, what happens here, right, with these with these um, VHS plays is that when you take the cover off, there's a little sensor inside that's a little light sensor. And what happens is, is that when you turn take the cover off, the little sensor, just like a calculator, like a solar sensor, it picks up that the cover's off. So what it does is, it has a little computer inside. This is where all the VHS players, well, most of them. And it sends it into this thing called service mode, right? What that means is that it thinks that somebody's opened up the machine to service it. So what it does is it, it, it disables the functions. Disables play and all this other crap, you know what I mean? So if you just take the cover off, and you want to try to do what I'm going about to, what I'm about to show you it's not going to work the way to bypass that right is that you've got the VHS player what you need to do is get yourself a cover all right a black cover this is why it's this is why I'm filming it at night as well all right because it's a it's a good time to do it because it's not as bright in the room and I go and you cover it like this now when you cover it right you cover this top section here right See that? When you cover this, you cover the sensor. You bring back to darkness. Now what you do is, you're convincing this machine now that it's not in service mode. So you're gonna be able to press play. And when you press play, it's actually gonna play the tape. It's not gonna just have it all disabled, all right? So, that's how you need to get it functioning. Now that we've got it functioning, let's, uh, let's mess with this thing, all right? I'm gonna show you. All right, guys, you see this? That's the tape, right? The tape is runs along there, comes around the back, and then runs along the front of this, this wheel there. It's this nice, smooth wheel. Goes back there, comes along here, runs through this head there, and then back into the tape. Now, this is what we're going to do. You see? Hey, you've got, like, these, uh, these sort of cables and all this sort of stuff. That is basically the reader right this is the head of it the tape runs through it right and it's got this cable and it basically this reader reads the um the head of this reads the um the tape all the rest of it is basically a stabilizer i guess and all this other crap but this is where the head's at all right <clears throat> now check this out right i'm gonna press play press play on this thing Here we go, here we go. I'm playing the tape now, right? Check this out. See the head? You move it. Wait for it. Listen to how I distort the sound, alright? Check it out. Alright guys, check this out. Here's the head. It's gonna start playing in just a second. Check this out. If I touch it sideways, As hard as you want, or as gentle. <laughs> you like that? You like that? <laughs> you see that? So now I'm just rewinding the tape again. What I'm going to do is I'm going to play the sample 
I personally, uh, I'm going to maybe overdo it a bit, all right? And as I'm uh, messing with it, I'm going to be sampling into my, my drum machine, and then I'll do the chopping, and I'll do all that sort of stuff, all right? So uh, I'm going to sample that in. I'm going to put my finger on that little head, right? So you'll see the tape running through it. Push it a little bit to the side. Don't be too rough, man, all right? You don't want to fuck it up. Just move it a little bit. Get the sound that you want. It's really good. It might remind you a little bit of this, right? The good old 404, the SPs or the 303s or what? Oh, no, hang on. Yeah, these are 404, the triple fives, all that sort of stuff. It's a LFO, very similar to this, all right? So um, this is a way of you being able to achieve that LFO uh, without having to have this machine, all right? Cool. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. So we have that, right? You hear that? Alright, so I mean, what I did was I tuned it down to minus three. That's how the pads are being tuned down. And I also put a couple of filters on them, alright? One of those filters that I put on, right? One of them was the low pass there, and I did that to sort of get rid of all the buzzing. And then I also put a high pass, which is basically like if I've got like the whole spectrum of sound here, I, I EQ'd all the bottom half, I kind of took that off, right? See? So you just end up with that there. End up with the sequence, right? This is the sequence. Now here's the thing, right? Whenever you use this VHS, you're gonna find that it, what it's missing is a little bit of that middle and a little bit of that warmth from the bottom end. It's got a lot of character and it's got a lot of grime, but what it's missing is just that little bit, man, that little bit right in the center there, all right? So what I did was, I'll show you what I quickly did just to fill in that space, all right? I used to have this sample playing on another beat, right? This one. Now I'm really sorry, but I can't remember what sample that was, alright? I, I got it from a record or something. But um, yeah, I'm really sorry about that, man. I don't know what that, uh, what that sample is. But point is, is that I didn't use it for everything, right? I just use, I'm using it for its mid-tones, man. Just to fill in the beat, right? So what I did was, I'll put you closer to the speaker here, right? I used it for its mid-tones. So it's got a low pass on it, so I'm using it for a lot of its warmth rather than um, its melody and all that sort of stuff, right? And all I was doing was playing my sample. I was playing that with the drums and that. And I would then play this in between it and just found some keys that I could repeat, all right? A couple of keys that I could repeat just to keep the, uh, the rhythm going. And this is the rhythm here. Let me just show you. Right, you hear that? Alright? Yeah. And that's it, you know what I mean? That's it, man. It's just a simple beat, nothing too complicated. Just wanted to fill it in just a little bit. All right, man. Not the greatest sort of like composition. It's something a little bit quick, just for you guys. But the main thing is about this, man. The VHS. Listen to that. Look, if I stop that mute. guys peace thank you so much man thanks everybody for uh for tuning in again man i hope you like this uh vhs technique there man so
something a little special uh, for you guys, man. There's a little Easter egg for for, uh, for Easter for you fellas, man. Join the up, guys, man. Thanks again for tuning in. I appreciate everything, man. I appreciate the following. Please share it, man. Please subscribe. Please share it with, uh, with other beat makers, man. It's all about building that community, all right, guys? So peace. Stay off the crack. Be good to yourselves, huh? Have a good Easter, fellas. Peace.